Hi everyone and welcome to a 3D printer upgrade video, uh, next one in this series. Now here we've got a spare transformer from the 3D printer and there's a couple of issues with it or one issue actually mainly is this connector block here. Whilst that's kind of generally fine if it's within a larger enclosure and you don't go near it very often and the DC voltages are not particularly dangerous. <laughs> um, the AC 240 volt connector open like this is not a very uh, good solution and um, what I think I'm going to do is print a cover on there and at the same time we'll install a three pin mains socket connector and also an on off switch as well I think which is also illuminated I think this one is and um, yeah we can house that and do a much more elegant solution on this so let's head over to Fusion 360 and get something designed up. So here we are in Fusion 360 and as ever we're going to start off with a sketch and we'll just start off with the front essentially of the cover we're going to create here so we've got the outline if you like of the walls that will be extruded out and also the front face as well now i have actually found a three pin connector socket which has got a fuse holder in it so i use those dimensions and put that on there with the two screw holes that uh, we'll need to bolt that onto this face. And then the switch is just a straightforward cutout, rectangular cutout. So, uh, and I left a little bit extra there because it's got essentially push in tabs uh, that kind of clip that into place to hold it. So it made it a little bit wider uh, than the actual dimensions. So having done that, we can then extrude the walls out for the sides and then extrude the face out. I think I made this about two mil thick all round to start with. Then we did another sketch on this face here and extruded some holes which actually correspond to some screw holes that are on the actual PSU uh, shell anyway so I think it's kind of they, they're, they're kind of there to put a cover like this on anyway so those are in then another sketch on the other side because we need to bring the cable that actually goes from the control board on the 3d printer into this enclosure and extrude that through now I kind of looked at this and thought well, that looks a bit flimsy so I'll just thicken out if you like all of the uh, faces so the next three operations just made it a little bit thicker uh, just to make it a bit more sturdy. And then really all was needed was just a little bit of uh, filleting here and there just to round off some of the corners. And we're pretty much done. So let's head over to the 3D printer now in order to 3D print. Best thing to do is print this from this face upwards because the printer will be able to handle the overhangs in these circular holes in the side here. So that'll be fine. Okay, let's get over to the printer and get this printed out. Okay, with that printed off, let's get it wired up. So we'll take a live and neutral from the socket to the switch using shrink wrap, of course, and uh, use a heat gun just to quickly seal that. And then we'll leave two wires from the switch to connect to the PSU, again, live and neutral. And then we'll take an earth from the socket and leave that ready to attach as well to the PSU. And really it's just a case of uh, putting all the wires back in place so we can put our earth, our uh, plus and negative DC out to the control box and then our live and neutral in and then screw the cover onto the actual PSU casing itself. Really all there is to do now is plug everything back in 
turn the mains on from my uninterruptible power supply on and the lights come on which is good news and we can also switch the 3d printer back on and you see the switch is illuminated and working so that's fantastic so uh, another upgrade completed and thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next video